I'm making this video to show people how you can actually paint your furniture. I'm not talking tables or beds. I'm talking you can actually paint couches, chairs, love seats. Anything with fabric can be painted. I've painted pillows, rugs, you name it. But I've been wanting to try this because I am completely done with my red couch. So I've picked out a beautiful shade of green, which is my favorite color. Can't ever go wrong with green. And I'm going to do this step by step and we're going to see how it turns out. So this is my oversized chair and the couch that I will be painting. I've tried slip covers, you name it. Nothing works. And before I go out and buy a new couch in Love Seat, I'm going to try this, see how it works. So these are the items that I have purchased to do my project. The main thing I would think would be the drop cloths. I've got three of them here. I think that should be enough. The paint, I've got this pretty color called pistachio. I'm going to get a bucket so you can mix your paint. And this is the fabric medium that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, any of your craft stores. A spray bottle with water, sandpaper, fine grit, paintbrush. I also bought these sponge, like brushes. I don't know. I think the brush, the regular brush would probably work better, but I'm gonna try these. And I have also heard that you can use a clear wax when you're done to seal it, but I've read that it really doesn't make a difference, so we will see. Okay, so I guess the main thing when you're painting anything, obviously, is prepping. You want to prep everything. I vacuumed out the couch, which I'm glad I didn't video. With three kids, you did not even want to see the stuff that was inside my couch. You can see where I've got the drop cloth down, cushions. I've got three of them. I probably should have gotten like a heavy duty type drop cloth. I don't know. We'll see how this works. Might be replacing the carpet as well. Who knows? But that's what I've got. Ready to mix the paint. Go. Okay, so I I'm opening the paint. This is the color I picked. It's called pistachio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about half of it inside of the plastic container. That looks good. I'm going to take my brush. Let's get the excess. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, I've got three eight ounce bottles of fabric medium. Like I said earlier, you can get this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any kind of craft store should have it. Walmart might even have it. Pour all three bottles. That looks really runny. Hmm. I was sitting in my garage in zero degree temps, so I'm hoping it didn't get messed up. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be runny. I don't know. <laughs> and we will find out. I've watched a few videos where they say you should add water in with the paint and the fabric medium. I'm not going to. I just, I don't know why, I'm just not. I think this looks thin enough. So then we're just gonna mix it. All right, and now we're ready to paint. Okay, let's 
started. So, in the videos that I did see, it says to actually spray the couch or whatever you're painting. Spray it first. So I'm just gonna do a little small section here to show everyone, see what happens. I'm gonna try the foam brush and then I'm gonna try a regular paintbrush. I'm thinking the regular paintbrush will probably work better. This is the foam brush. Just dipping it in the paint. And get into the creases here. Clothes are dry. <laughs> and maybe the reason why people use the foam brushes because it looks like you can get into the crevices pretty good. I also have read and watched on all the videos, it usually takes three or four coats of paint. So, this is probably gonna look pretty rough for the first few days. All right. I'm used to painting with a brush. I like the brush better. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. So, this just kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like as you're starting off. I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of this one and I will come back and show you when I start the cushions. Okay, okay, it's taken me about an hour and I have, it's hard to see, but I have got, I've gotten the first coat done all around on the couch. Looks, she's looking rough. <laughs> I'm thinking she looks rough, but this is only the first coat. So we'll see after three or four. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Okay, so I am finishing up day two of this project. The couch now has two coats of paint. The cushions have a coat on each side. I forgot to take in consideration that you can only let one side dry at a time, obviously. So those are going to take twice as long, but whatever. Alright, so the couch has two coats. The love seat is getting ready to get the second coat before I go to bed. And one thing I wanted to tell everyone is, after using the little cheap spray bottle last night that I got from Walmart or wherever, I learned early on that you should get a, a good spray bottle. Just go to Home Depot, get you a decent spray bottle. Because when it sprays evenly, the paint goes on a lot easier. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. Spraying. You're gonna take your brush. Again, this is the second coat. You can see how it goes on fairly easy after you spray the water. Big difference. So the second coat is starting to give me some hope that this might actually turn out pretty decent. I also noticed as it dries, it almost looks like leather. You can look at the armrest on this one. 
that's almost dry and it actually looks like leather. So tomorrow before I start painting, I am gonna sand this down before I do the third coat. So that's where we're at right now. All right, day two is almost complete. Okay, so this is day three. I've gone over the couch and love seat. Third coat still looks kind of rough. The pillows have one coat on each side and they almost look the same. So I've got another idea for that. But this is starting to look green. Just a few red splotches. Hang on, we're getting there. Okay, so I took a day off. I needed a break from this. And I had come up with this idea that since it's taken so long for the green to cover the red, you primer most things before you paint. So why can't you primer your furniture? So anyhow, I bought this. It's um, it's a actual upholstery spray, which is what I was talking about before. So I'm going to actually use this as a primer and then I'm going to go back with the green. We're going to try this on the cushions because I'm not getting very far with these cushions. This is actually becoming quite the mess. So I'll try this out. We'll see what happens. All right. I'm just going to lightly spray this. Probably don't want to do it too thick. You can see wasting paint. So I'm going back and forth. I honestly think this is just going to be really, going to make it a lot easier. I hope so. You see, it's just lightly back and forth. doesn't have much of an odor so you can do it inside just definitely clear off an area and put up some uh, plastic all right one down five to go okay so I'm starting on project number two of painting fabric upholstery chairs found this one the other day really nice lines. It just, it's, it's a good quality chair. It was made by Roe, which is out of Roanoke, Virginia, which is where I was born. But I thought this was absolutely adorable. The fabric, of course, is outdated, and I don't like the color. So I'm going to paint this gray. But I like the legs. Um, so I'm going to keep those the natural wood color they are. Okay. We will get started. So in my last video, I think I was getting ready to start the chair in ottoman, if I'm correct. And at this point, I'm done. <laughs> Fast forward, I'm done. Uh, it took about a week to complete the couch, the love seat. I ended up buying a chair in ottoman on my lunch break one day last week at a thrift shop. Um, so I finished that as well. In between letting the cushions dry on everything, I also painted a rug and um, a canvas painting of Audrey Hepburn, who I happen to love. So it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of hard work. Um, would I do it again? Definitely. It was it was a lot of fun. I would tell you if it's your first time painting fabric, I would start with a chair, That's something small, a chair, chair and ottoman even maybe dining room chair covers you could do. Um, of course, those are easy enough to just, you know, reupholster. But yeah, I would start with something small. The couch and love seat took forever. Uh, it was five coats total for the couch and love seat and then 10 coats for the cushions. And the cushions were hard because you had to get into the little crevices and you know, it was just, it was, it was a pain, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I like the way it turned out. It's bright and cheerful, which is what I was going for. And um, I was gonna give you a few tips because I've had a lot of friends ask me different questions 
about the process and what kind of paint and you know just lots of different things so the things that I can think of along the way that um, I would do differently the spray bottle I would only spray the first and second coats you don't need to keep on spraying it you know in in between every coat it's just a waste of time and it takes forever to dry so don't even bother doing that uh, another thing you're gonna need a lot of the textile medium so instead of running back and forth to Hobby Lobby every day go ahead and just get online and probably buy a case of the eight ounce bottles because it is going to add up quick um, they're approximately seven dollars for one eight ounce bottle and I think I use 16 to 20 total. So it does add up quick. I ended up using two gallons of paint for the couch and love seat. Uh, so you don't have to buy, you know, the most expensive. I think the first gallon I bought was a $35 gallon. Ended up going down to like the $20 gallon because it doesn't really matter, um, you know, the quality of the paint, it's not gonna come off. I mean, it's different if you're painting your walls, obviously. Um, as far as cleanup goes, it's just like you're cleaning up after painting your walls. With latex paint, it's soap and water, uh, obviously. It's not mineral spirits. That would be for oil-based paint. You're not going to use that on your fabric. So just soap and water. Super easy. Um, also, another tip, I would say buy a very good paintbrush because you don't want the bristles coming off in the middle of painting and just makes a big, huge mess. Um, I recommend Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y, or Wooster. They're both very good brushes. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. And, um, oh, the Fabric Upholstery Spray Paint. I also tried that as a primer. I think if you look back and see on one of my other videos, I love this stuff. It's awesome it's great I think it was $13 a can uh, but the thing about the the spray upholstery paint it does not go far it doesn't last long it it was gone in a matter of seconds so unless you're painting something very small like a small chair I would not recommend the spray uh, it was good in the fact that it didn't have an odor and you can use it inside the house which I did didn't have to worry about opening the windows so that was nice but like I said, I mean, it just, I, I probably couldn't even get the rug done with one can. So yeah, that's for a very, very small project. Um, anything else? Let me think. The wax, the wax at the end. I was told by a couple friends and also I read that you should use the wax at the end to seal, to make it softer. It did not make a difference. It didn't make a difference on the couch and love seat or on the chair and ottoman. So I would say save your money. Don't even bother with the wax. Other than that, all I can say is um, it was fun. It was hard work. I've got band-aids, as you can see, and cuts, a couple bruises. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but it is what it is. It, Sure beats going out and spending 3000 on a new couch and love seat. So I will keep this one probably in the spring, maybe put it out in my sunroom. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm liking it right now. So anyhow, I will be making another video soon. I'm gonna be redoing my kitchen table and chairs. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, message me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hopefully I've got an answer. I am new at this too and was learning along the way. So, but there's your answer. You can paint couches, chairs, love seats. It is possible. Thanks. Have a good night. I'm going to get a manicure.